In this video, I will show you tools that you can use for teaching and studying. Let's get started. First up is Doctrina.ai. This tool has multiple features that you can use for studying, teaching, and for advanced learners, you can do your research. You can also summarize your notes as well. To begin with, you can create quizzes, put your topic in here, language, difficulty level, subject, and your focus, and that will help you to create questions. Now you can create your essay questions as well. For instance, if I have chosen my um, book and if I've chosen that, cl click on generating. And now what will happen is it will create some argumentative questions on my play that I'm studying for my exams. And that can be used for studying as well. Here you go. So these are some notes that it has generated. You can you can download this essay. You can share that with others as well. And now the other features. Now you can create an exam for yourself as well. If you click on um, geography, and I'm looking at uh, climate change, and difficulty level could be changed as well. If I'm creating some sort of interactive exam topics that I, that could be used for my exam as well. Now what has happened is it has created a list of topics and questions that I can use for my revision as well. So I can even go and save or listen to the questions as well. Other features includes writing summary, notes as well. You can enhance your class notes with uh, uh, with the deeper insights as well, you can use this as a chat, the chat feature to ask about uh, your topic that you are studying. Now, the next tool that I'm looking at is Wolfram Alpha. This tool helps you to look at different subjects. Whether you are a researcher, a teacher, or student, use this tool to actually do your research and study as well. For example, I have picked on this topic. And you can see this has helped me to solve my top problem and it has given me some graphic descriptions as well. If I go back, I can do the same with any other any topic that I'm studying. It could be a science, technology topic as well, uh, society and culture. So if I'm looking at commerce as well, uh, nutrition, history, politics. So if I look at uh, finance, for instance, and if I clicked on that, and it's helping me to calculate uh, mortgages as well, uh, teaching me about loans, percentages, uh, also help, helping me to create an understanding about how to use finance for my studying. So Wolfram Alpha is a go-to tool if you are studying multiple subjects as well. Uh, if you are looking for a tool that will help you with your general knowledge as well, so this is a tool if you can use so what happened in today's economy you can look at um, multiple topics you can have a look at uh, politics you can use at weather climate and so on now the next topic that we're looking at would be a tool that helps you to create a speech from your recorded lectures or recorded meetings as well all you do is you can use this feature to record your meetings or you can record your meetings upload that here and that will help you to create your speech now the next thing would be 11 labs this is a tool that teachers can use researchers can use or anyone who is trying to present something can use as well so all you do is you write up your text over here and you can you can turn this into an audio uh, you can use all the names you can use multiple voice as well. You can use um, um, default uh, narrations uh, that uh, that based on different speakers as well. You can choose any of the speakers from here and the accents that they have, and and you can you, you can generate the speech into in uh, this write up into a speech. Now the next one is ChatGPT. Now, you all of you might have actually used this before. So today, all I'm showing you is how to use some advanced features. So the first one that I will show you is how to use ChatGPT to generate questions on images. So once you have uploaded an image, 
You can ask questions about it. You can ask it to summarize and list some important vocabs. So good for you to study, uh, good for you to use while you're studying important topics. And you can also go and use advanced features that are here, the reasoning features, thing before responding. So you can use this feature as well. Uh, you can also go back and use other features that are here. So if you are trying to explore ChatGPT, you can go ahead and import images. You can import posters. You can import maps as well and, and ask questions about it. The next tool that I'm looking at is getvoila.ai. Simply go to the website and here you go. Here you have access to multiple tools that you can use. You can use this to, to write something up as well. This is good for writing paragraphs. This is checking your grammar. It helps you to generate text as well. So all you do is you go and enter your text. So you can go and enter your text over here and then you generate that and it help, it will help you to create uh, multiple um, text on, on, the, on one topic. You can copy this and, and, and use it for your presentation. The next feature that you, that you can use would be a sentence rewriter. You can summarize articles using this tool as well. You can also write cover letter as well. You can write agenda for your, your meetings. You can use this to write your script for your videos as well if you're a content creator. And it will also help you to create ideas and summarize your notes, if your lecture notes, if you're looking at that, your meeting notes, and so on. So these are the tools that I had looked at. So in summary, what I've done today is I've looked at Doctrina.ai, a tool that can be used for students to study, uh, teachers to, for revision purposes, and anyone who is writing articles or submitting research papers. Wolfram Alpha, a math tool, but it can be used for multiple subjects as well. Now, the next one would be Ori.ai, 11 Labs, ChatGPT and its advanced features, and finally, Getvoila.ai. In, let me know which tool would you be using in the comments below. Thanks for watching.